guys. So I know it's been a while um, since you've seen me, since I posted on YouTube. There's so much that's been going on in the world and I felt like I just needed a break to focus on my business and my kids and really just inhale and exhale and take in, you know, everything that's going on with racism and rioting and the pandemic we're in. Um, it's all just a lot and it's very overwhelming to deal with. It makes me very sad to have witnessed, you know, what happened to George Floyd and also what has happened to Breonna Taylor and all the other victims that have lost their lives to police brutality. It's just been a sad, sad, heavy, heavy time right now for the world. So I took a little break and, you know, educated myself a little bit. Growing up, I went to a predominantly white school and I was like really one of the only, if not the only black cheerleader. And I've had to deal with that um, all through school. I always felt different. I always was treated different. They always wanted to smell my hair and say, you're different and you're this and you're that. And, you know, I didn't really understand how ignorant those comments were growing up until I got older. And I really was able to educate myself and have these conversations with my mom and my dad. It's gotten worse because we have cell phones now and we have social media and people are able to capture all of these things for us to see. And it's disgusting and it really makes me want to cry because I have a son, you know, and I have my daughter who's had her little incidents at school just with her hair being big and, you know, her friends asking her, why her hair is so big and your hair looks like a dog, like a poodle. These are things that I'm sharing with you guys because people say all the time, your daughter's so beautiful, her hair is so this, her hair is so that, and these might be small things to you, but they're not small to me because I dealt with my daughter not wanting to wear her hair in a ponytail or not wanting to wear it down and wanting to wrap it up in a bun just so people wouldn't refer to her hair as poodle hair or dog hair or you know my brother had his trouble with the police and has been in and out of jail and I've had to watch that since I was young but I never really understood so I say all of this to say I will continue to pray um, for everyone's family and everyone that is dealing with this situation very hard if you have lost someone if you know someone that's lost someone my heart goes out to you let's continue to just stay uplifted and let's protest and let's continue to talk about it because i know they want us to shut up about it but we're not going to shut up about it we're going to keep talking about it we're going to keep holding these officers accountable for what they're doing to our black men to our black women our queens so that it can stop it needs to come to an end at some point and I think that the more people that are talking about it and putting it out there, it's really helping, it's really educating a lot of people and some people are still ignorant to it. Hey, I have lost friends throughout this whole process. I have people that I've grown up with that I no longer follow, talk to anymore because I just can't be around people that are just so ignorant to this, so ignorant to say all lives matter. We know all lives matter. We, come on now. We know all lives matter, but it's like, how can all lives matter when black lives don't? It's just not fair, you know? We are treated different. It just is what it is. If you guys wanna drop a comment below and you know some organizations or places where we can sign petitions or donate, um, please drop them below. I am still learning. I am still trying to help any way that I can. So um, I would love your guys' feedback on this. This is gonna be a vlog and you know, I wasn't really thinking of putting anything out anytime soon just because I know it's like so heavy right now. I feel like even when you go outside, it's just very different. I'm on here and I'm gonna use my platform. I hope you guys enjoy my vlog. It's been a while. Um, I have been doing a lot. I am in the process of moving from my office space because I have just outgrown it. And it's such a blessing. I thank you guys for um, supporting me and you keep me motivated you keep me inspired just seeing you guys continue to watch my videos and do my workouts and buy my products and wear my products and tag me i don't ask you guys to do any of that and you do it so i am so grateful for that and i'm also moving into a bigger place at home so i have been really busy and i'm trying to run a business and i'm trying to take care of my kids and i'm trying to do all of this stuff um in a pandemic with racism and protesting and I'm really just trying to keep my head on straight 
and get back into the groove of things. Um, you guys let me know what else you guys want to see as always. Until next time. It is 6.41 in the morning. It's Friday. And I am getting ready to go work out. I do not want to get up. I do not feel like working out today. Somebody asked me in my comments, how do you do it even when you don't feel like it and you have no motivation? I just have a goal and I know I want to reach it. And that's what makes me keep going. That's what makes me stay consistent. That's what makes me get out of the bed and go do what I'm supposed to do. And once I do it, I realize how great I feel. Um, so I always just force myself to get up. Even if I'm like not motivated or, you know, it's that time of the month or whatever the case may be, I'm just not feeling it. I just say, okay, well, let's at least do something. So I just encourage you all to make the time, not excuses, okay? I'm cooking a little bit of breakfast for my kids. I've sauteed some mushroom, onion, a little bit of green onion, and spinach. Um, turkey sausage and turkey bacon. I'm gonna make some onion flour pancakes. My son's iPad is so loud, but this is the almond flour pancake and waffle mix that I use. I really, really like it. I just bought this from Amazon and I was so excited to use it because I'm like, it'll make your pancakes super perfect. You can also cook eggs in here and there's hard pancakes. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? I also bought this from Amazon. It has a shaker, like a, you know, like a blender shaker bottle, but for pancakes. How cool is that? I look so beautiful. Say hi, handsome. Say hi, handsome. Hi, my baby. You're so cute and handsome today. So which TikTok should we do? All right, do you see me? Oh yes, you do. And I'm gonna, these are all the products I used. I already brushed my teeth today, so this chapstick. It's like a lip sleeping mask. Have the same thing, but it's video as my mom. <laughs> this doesn't do anything. I So I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna get to y'all when I'm done. Yeah, so I, they've been asking me, like, where's the video? We want a video. Mm -hmm. So, just taking you guys along the ride. Today I'm getting my nails done, finally, because I've been trying to do it myself at home. And it's been cool, but it's like a struggle. So Michelle, Cali Free Nails, is mm -hmm. doing my nails. Finally, we are reunited with masks. Social distancing, six feet yeah. apart. Right. <laughs> Look, social distancing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to call Brian. You in the bed? It's my off day. Hey, what? <laughs> what? I need you to do me a favor. If you can't, then I get it. Your off day. Can you run downtown for me? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get up right now. Please get up now. How long is it gonna take you though? Mm, it'll only take you like 30 minutes to get down there. Yeah, but how long is it gonna take you to get up? I'm good, but I ain't got talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had you on the It's your off day too? Is it your off day? Jessica! When are we going on Kate's trip? Girl, why can't I uh, make her bear starter spirit? <laughs> <laughs> Is that red marker? Chanel, ooh, your nails are cute. Girl, I did them. They're so Thank cute. You. So cute. It gets easier, right? No, it does. 
I got mine done. I got mine done today, but are you wasn't quarantining? I was six feet. Social. We mm -hmm. were social distancing. She stayed over there. Yeah. I stayed over her. She had yeah. a little mask on. I have a little mask on. You feel me? A little mask on. Yeah. Those glasses are fire, though. Thank you. Yeah. They're cute, right? Yeah. Don't be like, where are your kids at? They're in the house. I gotta go in there right now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Came outside to get a breather. We are getting out of the house for some fresh air. He's getting so big. He loves to be outside and run around. Oh, you just want to hold my hand. Oh, no, you want me to pick you up. Okay. My daughter tells my mom everything. I love that their relationship is so close, though. Because I was really close to my grandmother. So, I get it. Hi. I made it home in time for my evening walk. He's chilling. Shy. Say bye to Yaya. Oh, baby. Oh, look at it. Mom. Oh my gosh, Hendrix! <laughs> Yaya's going bye bye. Give me a high five. Yeah. Give me a kiss. I'm so proud of my friend. She started her YouTube channel. Her name is Chanel. Go follow Makings of Chanel. <laughs> Since we forgot a bathing suit for Shari, we are currently at Target to find her a bathing suit. And it's the hottest day. Look at my mask. Fix your heart. Why do y'all need to fix your heart? Says my nephew. Hey you guys, we're out here at Lego Storm. Yeah. Okay. And She is hot. Oh, this isn't really a good. I'm 15. This isn't oh, a good sweetie. angle. You're 15. Yeah. Oh, honey, I thought you were like 12. Yes. <laughs> what? You thought I've been 12 since Hawaii. Girl. Oh. It might be the Tito's or my memory. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Shy was Tito's. What Tito's? Tacos. Tito's tacos. Tito's tacos. You love Tito's too. <laughs> I know. What? Don't we? Don't me and Shy look like my mom all over again? Um. No. Okay. You know what? No. Shy is way more personality than I did when I was a kid. I was so shy. You ran up here to walk with mom. How are you? Look at this little Kayla. Okay, look at his outfit. Put his little belly out. Put his belly out. It's a little arm right here. Oh, yeah. He's going to get tired. Watch. He's going to ask me to pick up my watch. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. 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 
Go back it up. Hey, back it up. Hey. Go back it up. Better back it up. Oh my goodness. All this walking. I might be red as a tomato tomorrow. Ready. We just got here. We barely got here. It's six Mom, we barely got here. We've been here for two hours. Why do you want to leave? Huh? Why do you want to leave? We just got here. Okay. Been here for a while. A few hours. So you're just gonna sit in the car until we're ready to go. Yeah. Mom, these people probably know they don't have the Rona. How do they know? Because mom, they my don't mom even is know that they're not supposed to be sitting over there with all them people. They're supposed to be out on the beach. We've been in quarantine like three months. What? Your mother is paranoid. Mom, she's ready to go because she feels like there's too many people here that she don't even know. In mom, that it's a free country. I love you. You came. Same thing you did with Easter. You have to go. <laughs> but she doesn't have to go. Auntie Joy's not even pressed to leave yet. It's time to go, Mom. Let's ride out. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't. 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 You you ready to go? Don't. Hey, don't hit my camera. <laughs> Hendrix, no, you got to cover your mouth. Go like this. Mwah. Mwah. Good job. Yay. That's my big boy. Give me a high five. High five. High five. Oh. Oh, give me a high five. Bam. All of them are. Okay, so should I make them $48? No. 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 What would be a good price, you think? $30. $30? I'm <laughs> not going to make a profit. <laughs> we need profit because no, we need but money. If you, but if you have 30 everyone's going to get it. Because if it's 40 I'm going to, oh, that's what I That's true. You have a point there. You're very smart. But if I put it for 30 then mommy won't make a profit. And then how am I going to feed you and your brother? She always says that she's <laughs> Which was too much. We also said 50. I didn't say 50, I said 48 dollars. No, you said 50. I kind of wish I talked like this all the time. That was not. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish I talked like this all the time. I can't say time like that. Time. Time. Yeah, I wish I talked like this all the time because I like it a lot. I need a weekend off. I need a vacation. Me too. I no, what do you mean? No, I didn't have You haven't even been to school. No. I promised you. What did I promise you? I'll take you. You said we're going to go somewhere for your birthday and everything. Else. And we're still in bloody quarantine. <laughs> I am tired. You're warm. You're so good. <laughs> There's so much to do in here. You could go. Read a book, go I do that every day. Go over some homework, go watch descendants, go but you just wanna be right here and it's like Exactly, I don't watch descendants anymore. I only listen to songs. Watch your bag, watch your bag, watch your bag, watch your bag. We can get a little take him to the store, yeah. This could get a little sticky. But I wouldn't have to be But I know the best way <laughs> Hey, bring this metal bus to move! Dun 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 <laughs> Chillin' my gummelin That's just something uh, too I've literally been just trying to figure out what I'm doing because I really want to buy a house but they're telling me I should wait for the house that I like the kind of house that I want to buy I have to wait because any Then I have to like remodel it how I want it and that's gonna take another year and then it's like we're still gonna have to live somewhere else for a year and I just don't want that so I'm gonna move they have houses for four hundred dollars and they're actually kind of pretty four hundred dollars oh mm -hmm. my goodness where is it a Barbie dream house yeah better than that bigger has a long pool when are you going to see that house again I want to know you're not going but when are you going you're not going. <laughs> At least somewhere I want to go. <laughs> Don't. <gasps> I wouldn't do that, Mom. Who's going to pick that up? I'm not. Hendrix, why would you do that? Who's going to clean that up? 
Don't put that in your mouth. Hendrix. Hendrix. Who's cleaning that up? He didn't hear it. <laughs> Get me out, rat! <laughs>